Okay, so what we have here, this is a cherry tomato. And look how good it looks, no fungal issues. But what I wanna do is I don't wanna get the leaves all soaking wet. I'm gonna just take the hose down here and just soak it right at the stem and around, kind of around the base as well. But so we're in late November or mid November and we're not getting any fungal issues. You really don't want to overwater your tomato plants and that will that'll increase the fungal problems. And what you want to do is try not to splash water on the leaves too much. I'm getting it a little bit down here, but don't uh, splash too much water up. And also make sure you have a, a thick layer of mulch, which I have all over my garden. So that's going to keep pathogens from splashing up. So again, I'm watering at the base of the plant and you can see the thick layer of mulch. So I'm not getting any splash up of any dirt. So in about 15 minutes, this whole area is gonna be getting hit by the sun, full sun. I think it's like 10.30. You can see here, here's the sun right there. So, and the sun's hitting right, right here on the fence. So we're so close. I think it's been about four days since I've watered out here too. So this is very dry. I want to do a deep, one good deep soaking with tomatoes. They're really tricky. You don't want to overwater them. You're, you're better off underwatering them and then waiting for them, the plants to kind of wilt. Then you'll know that, you know, they need water, but whatever you do, don't overwater. The bigger the plants get, you know, the deeper the watering you want to do. Now, the reason I'm watering this time of day is because, um, number one reason is you don't want the fungal issues. And if you have, if you water at night, you're more likely to have the fungal problems, the powdery mildew. You'll see all the mold. These are all uh, the sweet 100. So we're gonna do one good soaking and it doesn't really matter if I'm getting the leaves a little wet right now because the sun is coming up over the top of that building in about 10 minutes. And all this will be dried up within you know a few hours. There won't be any moisture. The main point of this whole episode is water about an hour before the sun hits it. So, or, or at least, you know, 15 minutes. But you want the plants to dry up a little bit before they start getting hit with the sun. A little wider shot you can see over here. See the sun is starting to come out. Oh, I have ants down here. Look at this, all these ants are digging up all the dirt along here. So I have, every week I have to like hose this off. Gotta hose off all this. They try to keep your area clean. But you can see right now, I'm not that concerned about getting it wet because once that sun hits it in about a half hour, um, it'll dry up very quickly. So it's the next day and I'm just checking these tomato plants, see how they're doing after that watering. The soil is still pretty wet, but they're doing just fine. You can see this is about two o'clock in the afternoon and they're getting a lot of sun right now. The sun is just radiating in this corner. Take a look at these, I'm already forming tomato um, flowers here and you can see right there there's a flower cluster in mid to late November getting tomatoes. So make sure you guys stay tuned, thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button, we'll see you guys next time, peace.